Hello dear students, I hope you have completed your chapter number 6. We have, in last video we have discussed the theoretical part of the chapter. In this chapter, in this video I am going to, in this chapter I am going to uh, discuss the solved exercises. Fill in the blanks. So let's start with fill in the blanks. Dash is the second largest continent in the world. We have studied the chapter, so it is Africa. United States of America located in which continent? North America. Amazon is the second largest river in the world. The Marina Trench is the deepest trench in the world. The dash is the smallest of the world's ocean. It is Arctic. The dash, sea and the Bay of Bengal are parts of Indian Ocean. So which we have studied, it is Arabian Sea. Come to the true false. <laughs> there are nine continents in the world. How many continents? Seven. So it is false. Sahara, the largest desert in the world is located in Africa. Yes, it is true. Yellowstone National Park is the world's first national park. True. Antarctica is the driest continent in the world. True. Great Barrier Reef is an important geographical feature of North America. No, it's, it is of Australia, so it is false. Atlantic Ocean is an M-shaped ocean. No, it is S saved ocean so it is false come to the choose the correct option now large land masses surrounded by water on all sides are called it is continents the largest ocean in the world it is pacific how many continents are there in the world it is seven and the last one choose the correct option is longest river in the world is nile now here are some jumbled words are given to you and you have to just identify the correct answer the highest peak in the world we have studied in the chapter it is everest this is the largest continent it is asia this is the largest river in the world it is nile the continent is also known as the cradle of humanity it is africa this is the driest continent in the world antarctica in this continent, the Great Barrier Reef is located. It is Australia. Now, come to the question answers. The first question is given to you, what are continents? So, answer is, big land masses on the Earth's surface that are surrounded by water on all sides are called continents. Come to the second question. Describe the main features of largest continent. We have studied it is Asia. So, Asia is home to some of the highest mountain ranges in the world, including the Himalayas. We have studied in the chapter. And what are the speciality about these mountains? These mountains contain glaciers, which are frozen masses of water. Frozen mass, masses of water. Come to the third question. Which continent is also known as white continent and why it is called so? We have studied in the chapter that Antarctica is also known as the white continent because it is frozen land covered with ice. What are oceans? Name the major oceans of the world. Ocean is a large mass of salty water. It is a large mass of salty water that covers most of the earth's surface. There are five oceans, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic and southern ocean what are rivers name any two rivers rivers are natural source of fresh water which flows down from mountains and hill slopes towards lowlands example ganga and yamuna now there are some defined are uh, given in your question answers so come we will cover one by one island island is a piece of land surrounded by water on all sides Strait, what do you mean by strait? Strait is a narrow stretch of sea between two large land masses. What is peninsula? It is a piece of land surrounded by water on three sides. Isthmus, it is a narrow strip of land which joins two large land masses. 
B. B is formed when a part of C fills up a wide curve in the land. Just like your Bay of Bengal. B is formed when a part of C fills up a wide curve in the land. What do you mean by lake? Lake is a large body of water surrounded on all sides by land. Lake is a large body of water surrounded on all sides by land. Here all we finished your exercises of this chapter. Kindly note down in your copy. And uh, I will be again in front of you with chapter number 7. Till then kindly complete your work. Thank you.